Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Massive news. The 66th Springbok captain has officially been announced with Salman Murat set to lead the side against Portugal for the first time ever in his career. A massive, massive call uh, from Rassi Erasmus and the coaching staff in what is a very interesting team that has been named to face Portugal. Um, new debutants involved in uh, the side as well. Uncapped players in the starting lineup include Pepsi Butelazi, Johan Krabala and uh, Jan Hendrik Vessels, whilst Andre Hugo Fenter, Ruan Fenter, Morne Vandenberg and Kutten Horn could be in line to make their test debuts this weekend as well. Marty Ibar back in at 10. Apreli Fassi gets a start at 15. Lakanya Am back in the side as well. Lots to talk about. Lots to discuss. Uh, very interesting. I mean, you were going to see changes. But it still remains a very interesting side. And Rusty Rasmus, well, if there's anybody that can still surprise us, it continues to be him. And uh, there are definitely a few surprises in this lineup as well. Um, before we get into it, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. This is how we will line up against Portugal. Um, very, very interesting. In the front row, Jan Hendrik Vessels has skipped to the front of the queue and will make his Springbok debut starting at loose head. It's an interesting one, isn't it? Because he's not played a lot of rugby um, for the Bulls this season, um, you know, and he's highly rated by the box, but has not been, you know, not been a regular for the Bulls. If we look at the season, for example, um, he plays just 362 minutes across the entire season, um, starting four out of 10 games um, and played all of those games as either a starting hooker or the reserve hooker. So he's not played a single game this year at, at, at Lucid. If you look at last season, for example, he also did not play a single game um, at Lucid. So the last time he actually ended up playing an official match at Lucid, I think goes back to, I don't know if he's ever actually played um, at Lucid for, for the Bulls. So it's a very, very strange decision. For somebody who's 23 years old and not played as much rugby as we'd probably like. If you look at his, his career, for example, he's played just 29 matches um, in his in his career. He's played less than 800 minutes uh, for the Bulls. Gets a start at Lucid. So uh, the three-more coach staff obviously sees something in him that maybe even other Bulls don't, don't see. Uh, Jan Koblo gets his long away to test view. This is very deserved. He's really had to grind hard for this opportunity. Um, he was there in about 2022, then got injured and uh, kind of sort of fell to the wayside a little bit and uh, is now back uh, in the side and will finally get his debut. Thomas Latoy, as expected, does start. Um, Salman Murat started his dark against Neyman. When I did my prediction yesterday, um, I had both those, those players starting. Didn't expect to see Salman Murat in uh, as captain. He was a former junior springbok captain, and uh, I mean, he led the SA schools. He's the current Stormers captain. So... He's a never. He's, he's 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 obviously a leader. You know that's something that you can't argue. Argue. It doesn't matter what side he seems to be in, what kind of environment. He always seems to to be given the captaincy. So I think he must be an incredible person in the squad. Um, to be get, given this backing, um, you know it's it's incredible. Um, and it's the third different captain we've had this year, by the way. Um, so a very interesting one over there. So yeah, he's at SS schools, Junior Springbok, the HS Dormers. Very keen to see how he goes. Um, a lot of people even question him being in the squad, let alone being given being given the captaincy. Um, if we look at the rest of the side, for example, uh, Lucio there, uh, Pepsi put Lazy at six. We saw the Sharks being sort of deploying him over there. Um, Plumtree spoke about the fact that he reckons he could get a C.A. Khaleesi type player. And the box obviously agreeing. I wonder if there was a little bit of input from the box in making that sort of transition. Ben Jason Dixon gets his first start in Springbok jersey as well after coming off the bench against Wales. Very much deserved as well. And then Evan Lewis will get another run out. Um, I was having an eye between Kubus Reinach and Morne Funderburg for who will start. It will be Kubus Reinach who will partner Mike Ebach who returns to the side as expected. The rest of the back line predicted as I, as I said yesterday. Maximum Pimpy, Kurt Lawrence and Apple Fasti as the back three. I think it would have been Edward van der Merwe had he been fit, um, but unfortunately that injury ruling him out. And then the centre pairing of Andre Esterhazen next to Lacanio um, um, is also pretty expected. If we look at the bench, uh, a front row replacement of Andrew Hugo Fenter in Sukhukluru and Trevor Nukani. So two youngsters with the veteran in Trevor, who probably needs, to, I don't think will be around for another sort of too, too many more years. Um, Ron Fenter uh, was called to the squad for the first time yesterday and will potentially get his debut this weekend. Interesting that he is there uh, covering potentially Locke as well as Blank and play at four as well as seven. You've got Ben Jason Dixon, you could do similar. And Albert Lowe as well. And the 
back of another impressive URC season, um, is back in the squad and, and set to get another opportunity off the bench. And then Davies in waiting for two Lions players in Mornay van der Berg and Kuhn Horn. Very excited to see how they go. I think Mornay van der Berg is, is quite highly rated um, by the Springbok staff. And I think Kuhn Horn is, is a spring, has been a Springbok in waiting for the last two years. Been playing such, such good rugby. Um, brilliant skill set, uh, deceptively strong, um, and knows how to score tries. Got really good game awareness, nice boot as well. And uh, Sash Farmer Gomez will continue to notch up some minutes uh, coming off the bench. And uh, I think we'll probably see him at 10 uh, when he comes on, given the fact that we now have a genuine 15 um, replacement as well. Um, if we look at, for example, um, the, the some of the stats, for example, and, and Rusty Rasmus um, you know, talking about sort of obviously building um, experience. Uh, it is the total cast for this starting lineup is 228, down from about 990 last week. Uh, it shows you how little caps there are. And interestingly enough, usually the forwards dominate the caps, if you've seen the last few few games. Very much different in this uh, lineup with 161 caps in the back line, 67 caps among the forwards, and uh, just 75 on the bench. Uh, if we look at uh, what Rusty Rasmus has to say, uh, particularly in about uh, Salam Murat, he said the following. He said, uh, someone commands respect from his teammates, so we'd like to congratulate him on this achievement, and we have no doubt that he'll take on this responsibility as well as he has for the other teams he has led. He has come through the SA Rugby ranks, and he went on to captain the Junior Springboks and SA Schools teams, as well as the DHL Stormers and Western Province, which speaks volumes about his quality as a player and captain. The match marks, uh, as I'm talking about the first couple of times we're going to see the Rugby World Cup winners, uh, speaking about the whole sort of squad, uh, Rusty Rasmus said as follows. He said, most of the so-called younger players have been exposed to Test Rugby in one way or another, by either playing against Wales or Ireland, or have been around the squad. So they are well aware of the standards we expect on the field and the way we do things. Um, all of the uncapped players, apart from Ron Fenter, were also members of our training squad in June, and we were very impressed with the way they fit into our structure and their work ethic. We have full faith in their abilities, and we're excited to see what they offer on the field on Saturday. Uh, he says the squad also includes a few Rugby World Cup winners and experienced campaigners who will play a vital role in guiding the young players and keeping things calm in the press of situations. Um, so, yeah, very interesting to sort of see. Uh, how things go. Money leave up quite 13 points, by the way, to get to 100 test points. Um, he's got up there very, very quickly. And uh, it's going to be the first test, by the way, between the Springboks and Portugal. Let me know what you think about the team down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve, and I'll chat to you soon.